Page 1. This is a story about a family living in a village. Rahimala is 13, his sister Betul is 10, and his brother Gulu is just 4. Rahimala's parents work very hard to try and keep him and his siblings safe and healthy. But sometimes bad things happen. Rahimala's neighbor Amna died when she was only 3 years old from an illness called polio. Page 2 Polio is a disease that affects newborn babies and children. Polio spreads very easily and can cause disability or death. After Amna's death, Rahimullah wanted to know more about this illness and how to protect his family. Through the advice of his teacher, he helped protect Batul and Gulu from polio. He also helped his whole village stay healthy. Page 3 Gulu and Batul love playing outside. Rahimullah noticed one morning that when they were called for breakfast, Gulu came running in and took his glass of milk. Gulu's hands were very dirty, but he was eating with them. Rahimullah didn't think this was a good idea. He remembered Amna doing the same thing. He decided he would ask his teacher, Mr. Zatman Khan, when he got to school. Page 4 Rahimullah asked Mr. Zatman Khan about washing your hands. He told Rahimullah, dirty hands can spread diseases like polio when people don't wash their hands before cooking or eating. Polio is also spread through dirty food and water and where there is bad sanitation. Polio has no cure. Page 5 Mr. Zatman Khan explained that polio can lead to breathing problems. For the first week or two weeks, children may have a fever, sore throat, headache, vomiting, pain in the arms and legs, and be very tired. After that, their arms and legs may become very weak so they can't stand or use their arms. Rahimullah remembered that Amna had these symptoms. Page 6 Mr. Zatman Khan said that polio can be stopped by giving children the polio vaccine. By keeping your environment and home clean, and always washing your hands after using the toilet and before eating. He said, two drops, every child, every time, and keep it clean. Page 7 On the walk home, Rahimullah thought very carefully about his teacher's advice. As a big brother, his duty was to keep Batul and Gullu safe from polio and other diseases. He decided it was his responsibility to make sure everyone in his village understood what needed to be done. Page 8 As soon as he arrived home, Rahimullah asked his parents if Batul and Gullu had been vaccinated against polio. He also told his parents that Gullu often forgets to wash his hands after going to the toilet. Rahimullah reminded his parents that Amna used to do the same thing. Not washing your hands can be very dangerous. Page 9 Rahimullah's father, Umar, was proud of his eldest son. Everyone says he is very smart. Umar decided to call a meeting outside their house. All the village elders came to listen to what Rahimullah had to say. Rahimullah was nervous, but he looked at Batul and Gulu and remembered Amna. He knew he had to tell everyone in the village how to keep their children safe from polio. Page 10 Rahimullah told everyone about polio and how dangerous it is and how easily it spreads between children. He told them that the way to stop polio is through oral vaccination along with routine immunization. The government of Pakistan has many polio eradication campaigns for children up to the age of five. Page 11. The elders were told that the Department of Health will send care workers house to house to vaccinate all children under five. Children can get the polio vaccine, called OPV, every time polio teams come to the village. The OPV drops are safe, effective, clean and halal. Polio can be destroyed if we follow the rule. Two drops, every child, every time.
Page 12. Rahimullah told the crowd that living in a clean environment is very important for our health. To protect everyone, especially children, from illness, we need to make sure our homes and kitchens are clean. Dirty neighborhoods and streets, and particularly open sewerage or any dirty water, carry diseases that bring illnesses like typhoid, cholera, dysentery, and polio. Page 13. Rahimullah reminded his parents that to protect children from preventable diseases like polio, TB, measles, and pneumonia, all children must be vaccinated. If you go to the clinic, you'll get an EPI card which will give you the date for the next vaccination. If your child is vaccinated at home, the health team will know when to come. Page 14. The teacher said that drinking water must be safe and clean. Dirty water brings diarrhea and diseases. Boil water for five minutes, then sift it through a clean cloth and store it in a clean jug or bucket. Keep the water covered so no dirt can get into it. Page 15. Washing your hands with soap and water saves everyone from deadly diseases like polio. Rahimullah told everyone to always wash their hands after using the toilet, after cleaning, before cooking, before eating, and before feeding a child. Children like Gulu must be taught to always wash their hands. Page 16. We must all take responsibility for our health and safety like Rahimullah did. With his help and the support and advice of Mr. Zatman Khan and Umar, the villagers cleaned their streets and homes and made sure all their children got vaccinated and were safe from disease. Children like Batul and Gulu all deserve better health. Remember, two drops, every child, every time.